Today I am watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 4. Episode 3 had a lot going on. Um, we got to see Faith for the first time. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen with that. If she will be back in this episode. If it'll just be sporadically throughout the season. Uh, I'm very glad another Slayer is back. Um, Buffy is also back in school. So that's good. It seems like things are progressing. And hopefully her life can go back to whatever normal is in Sunnydale. And then Angel is back. We saw that in the final few scenes of episode three so yeah very curious to see what's going to happen with him returning what his memories are going to be like if he'll talk to Buffy um, so I'm really excited to watch this episode so thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think I should watch please comment below and if you're ever curious about what gear I use or what's on the bookshelf I've included a link in the description and if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content Going back into the wombs of time, the rabbit could not- Ah! Okay, uh, maybe we should try Is that Oz? Again. Is this the night that, like, Oz is turning? Oh, man. Supporting for Ozwatch. Yeah. Aww, they all take turns. That's so cute. Um, because I'm still getting used to half of Monty. Oh, Hello. Oh, wow. Half? You and Oz? Which half? Stop. Wouldn't you like to know? Hello. Over there a little bit. <laughs> I'm good. He's gonna fall asleep, isn't he? Uh, uh, Xander, you had one job. Catch kids doing the ditty out here? The ditty? Who talks like that? Plenty. And quite a muffin. Quite a muffin, honestly. That crunchy munchy stuff on top. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Oz got out. Just for it, basically. Hey. Okay. Hey. Quite the conversationalist. Okay. Be Summers reporting for sanity. This is the guidance counselor? Is he smoking weed? I mean, everyone has problems. Everybody has demons, right? Ha ha! More than you know. Be fought. People can change. You can change. Does he know some things? No. Nah. Your turn. Let's start with why you ran away. I was kicked out of school. My mom kicked me out. Bore me. I had to boot my boyfriend to hell. Mm, I think it's the last thing she wants to talk about. Tim? And then he... Changed. Ha ha! Yeah. Most definitely. He got mean. You could say that. Yeah, that'd be putting it mildly. Another werewolf roaming in the woods. Perhaps. Perhaps it's something else entirely. It's okay. Maybe it was Angel? Ah? Uh, um... He would be hungry, I imagine. Get away from me. Aw, poor Oz. Yeah, he thinks he's attacked this guy now, so he's like pulling away from Willow because he doesn't want to hurt her, obviously. And also, I don't think he wants her, her to see him change like that. Yeah, maybe it's Angel? Hmm. Because there was werewolf attacks before, or they thought they were werewolf, and they found out it was Angel, so maybe that's happening again, now that we know he's back. <laughs> yeah, it's Angel! Oh my god! Yes! Yes, I called it. Yes. He doesn't recognize her? Oh, God. Oh, bonked him. Oh, God. Yeah, what's going on? Something obviously happened while he was trapped in hell. So, yeah, maybe he doesn't have any memories or... They take a while to come back, I don't know. We're doing crime here. You don't sneak up during crime. God. Doing crime. Big, sharp teeth and vicious- Do you want to go back to the car and wait? Like a vampire? No. Oh, is there going to be like a neck bite? <laughs> well, I don't think this was the reunion she was hoping for. It's- yeah! Oh, her ring is gone, but there's like a- like a body outline or an explosion or something it looks like on the ground. Maybe this is what he was like when he was in hell. He had to be this way. I don't know. Or they took away like his human aspects and made him more of an animal. Oh yeah, everybody looks cool rocking out to a discman. Yeah. Oh, bonked him. I told you that. I had a dream about Angel. Yeah, is she gonna tell him that he's back? Gate was closed. I, 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 
can't imagine how it could happen or, or why. Okay, yeah, so Jowis doesn't really know anything about it. Cannot respond to reason or love. Okay, well, I think Angel falls into the first category, considering he came back with that ring, so he responded to love. Yeah, if Angel was in, like, this, like, survival mode and he became more of an animal and lost his humanity after, you know, suffering years, hundreds of years of torture. That is just four cubes of jello. I hope you realize I don't actually know these people. I just, I thought you would like me better if I had friends. Makes sense. Good, 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 good. Appreciate that. Manic depressive chick. Yeah, she's like, what do I do about Scott now that Angel's back? Yeah, mm, interesting. Be careful, Buffy, be careful. Uh, I feel like that's gonna break. But happy. Ah, oh, frick, I feel like Angel escaped. <laughs> I think he's glowing green. Drink that, did you? <laughs> drink it? <laughs> no, I didn't. Debbie, what's going on? Why would you drink that? What? And don't, don't say anything. Is he dead? Listen, and that's, that's your thing, right? I feel like he's dead. I just, I need to talk to someone. Oh, poor Buffy. Yeah, he's dead. I know it. He didn't turn around. Yeah, oh god. He's missing an eye. Yo, Angel's attacky Sunnydale. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, what's this green stuff? Okay, I am way, way past that now. What? You see? Oh god. Stupid grating voice. Is he a werewolf also? <laughs> and that green stuff was helping him? What is this? <laughs> Why are you whoring around with other guys and taunting me? No, I don't. I don't even- What? Oh, God. <laughs> He's creating these different formulas. Debbie, huh? Huh? To share. To communicate. To piss me off. Oh, my God. He's not going to listen to your pathetic ramblings anymore. Okay, this guy killed the guidance counselor. God, now, Debbie. Yeah. You hear me? What is this thing? I am all you've got! He looks like a zombie, like he's got giant nails, like a vampire or werewolf uh, combo. I don't know what's going on. Listen, you know you shouldn't make me mad. It's like the Hulk, like he gets angry when he's mad. Turns green. Is that where the green stuff is? Like. It's okay. Yeah, he like turns into this monster when he gets angry. And that's what the guidance counselor was talking about as this girl had been talking to him earlier. Interesting. Thanks. Hey, um... He's gonna get angry again. She wanna talk. Aw, this is so sweet. Well, I stick with Buffy. And I'll go lock myself in the cage. Yep, unfortunately, that's what you gotta do. Is he Debbie? Supernatural. How many people who have supernatural boyfriends this one town got? Okay, yeah, Angel didn't get out, obviously. It was that Pete guy. Oh, and here we go. He's free now. Who's gonna be next? That's the question. Yep. Another staff member at Sunnydale down. Since when do you touch my girl? Yeah, oh, werewolf versus Hulk? I don't know what creature he is. When that sun sets, you won't be allowed to see it. Well, I think one of you that'll be true for. Something's gonna happen that you probably won't believe. Oh, here we go. Or you might. Monster versus monster. Yeah, exactly. Oz is trying to warn him and be like, uh, I'm a va I'm a werewolf. Oh, well, there goes that door. He does love me. I think she was broken before this. Oh, uh, might be right about that. Oh, right through the table. Did you kiss that whore? Whoa, oh my you know? god. Yeah, what? Oh, on the stairs. Ah. What's gonna happen when Oz changes? Yeah, exactly. 
It's like, well, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. Oh, now Oz is loose, Angel's loose, whatever this thing is is loose. Sorry! All right, bloody priceless. <laughs> Shot Giles. Oh, shoot. Yeah, there goes Oz. Man, these books must be reset so many times. They're always falling over. Oh my god, he's so agile. But messy. Also messy. He looks kind of more like a monkey than a wolf. Oh no, did he get Debbie? Yep. Sorry, Oz. Oh! All the same! This guy's a piece of trash. Angel? Oh, look at this! Whoa, bonked him with the chains! Oh, God! A lot of monster on monster fighting in this one. Ooh, yeah, that's. Yep, he's done. Yep, 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 that made a very squishy sound. Oh, bye, Pete. Did he escape to help Buffy? He knew he, she was in trouble? Buffy. Yay! Oh, yay, he's back. Oh. <gasps> Buffy's like, I never thought this would happen. What do I do? Mr. Science is doing a Jekyll Hyde deal. Oh. Debbie was gonna leave him, so he mixed this potion to become super moss macho. Oh. Under the influence of anything? Just himself. Oh my god. Uh. Poor Scott. So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 3, Episode 4. Um, it was a good episode, I felt overall, and was a nice transition from Episode 3. Definitely wasn't as heavy as Episode 3, but I like that they took some time with it and... Faith is still in this episode, which is good to see. I hope she's in every episode, even if it's not a huge role. Um, she was helping them guard Oz and then helping them take down Oz when he escaped. Um, and Angel is back, obviously. So I was curious to see how that was going to play out. And after Angel had been trapped in hell for hundreds and hundreds of years, even though it hasn't been that long in Sunnydale, obviously, time works differently. Um, and just enduring what I can only imagine is just the worst amounts of torture it felt like he had like lost his humanity and lost his human side if you will considering he's still a vampire but lost that piece of him and was just strictly like animalistic predatory like fight or flight he was in survival mode and we saw that when he attacked Buffy and Buffy has to restrain him with these chains because he's basically a wild animal and as hard as it is to see him back like I think it was a very conflicting reunion because she wants her version of Angel back um, and this is definitely not that so we did see towards the end of the episode him like drop to his knees and we saw his like vampire face change back to a normal human face um, even though he's a vampire but so hopefully that means he's making some progress at least. Um, he was obviously still having some nightmares and is probably going to be processing the horrible things he experienced for a long time, but at least it looks like he's, there is hope. Um, even when Giles was saying like there's two kinds of monsters, you know, those you can, you know, can get through to with love and compassion and then other kinds that don't respond to any of that type of stuff. And considering Buffy was the reason he came back, or that's how I'm interpreting it, is this ring and his connection to Buffy is why he came back in the first place. So I'm glad to see he's slowly getting back to his normal self, whatever that looks like. Um, and I'm very curious to see if Buffy will tell people that he's back. She's definitely keeping it a secret from now. She was talking to the guidance counselor about it, uh, Mr. Platt, but she obviously didn't specify vampire and we find out obviously that Mr. Platt had died. So if she would have told him, it wouldn't really have mattered. But I feel bad because that was the one person she said she could talk to because I don't know how her friends would respond to Angel being back and... I don't know how Buffy is also responding. I don't know how if she knows how she feels about the situation yet because 
like I said, like it's not, he's not back to his, you know, normal ways. He's back and obviously struggling with some very heavy things. And he also did a lot of damage while he was here. So um, I don't think Giles would be happy to see him. I know Xander wouldn't be happy to see him. So uh, who's she going to tell Willow and ask Willow to keep that secret? And yeah, I don't know if Willow would even be excited that he's back. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And I don't want her to keep secrets from her friends either. So I hope it's not like six episodes of nobody knowing that he's back and then they find out and then they're mad that Buffy kept the secret from them so hopefully by next episode or maybe the one after that he's making more progress and he feels more like he did before and you know apologizes for what happened or you know tries to work his way back into Buffy's life I don't know um right now she's just like watching over him basically I feel like she wants to be in his life and wants him to be around. What that looks like, I don't know. Um, as she's kind of dating this Scott guy now, although I don't know how serious that is. I thought this episode had an interesting parallel of monsters and also a lot of monsters fighting monsters. Um, as we saw, Oz was transitioning into his werewolfness as it was a full moon. And we kind of saw more of their routine of when that happens, basically. They lock him in that cage in the library and Willow stays up and makes sure he doesn't get out. Um, and then she asks Xander to do it. And at first it looked like Oz got out and was hurting people. And then we find out it was Scott's friend Pete who was worried his girlfriend Debbie was leaving him. So he created this like hyper testosterone concoction Jekyll and Hyde situation where he became like super macho and super masculine. And then that eventually just took over and that became his actual personality, it sounds like. So yeah, it was an interesting monster and it kind of reminded me of the Hulk. And he, when he got angry, he got very violent and aggressive and um, unfortunately hurt Debbie and it sounds like Debbie died and as well as we saw Angel came in at the last minute to save Buffy and killed Pete um, but yeah that was the first kind of like human inflicted monster we've seen like that Frankenstein episode where they pieced people back together but they weren't inflicting it on themselves um, so yeah this was an interesting version to see somebody have a situation and try and do something supernatural and we had that love potion episode um but this they didn't know that they were being exposed to the love potion this was this guy deciding i want to make a change in my life and i'm going to use whatever chemicals i can come up with in the science lab basically and yeah it was very interesting and then when debbie is mentioning she's been talking to the guidance counselor the way he's describing what we now know as Debbie and Pete's relationship also sounded like Angel and Buffy's relationship. Um, he's like, oh, did he start to change? And Buffy's like, yeah, like definitely wasn't the person I met and I knew. And but that was obviously also a situation with Debbie and Pete as Pete started to change. Um, and then we saw Buffy briefly talk to the guidance counselor. Unfortunately, staff turnover in Sunnydale is very high. Hopefully they get a new guidance counselor because I think that would be a good thing for her to continue. Um, I don't know that vampire slayer therapy is a thing. Maybe she leaves out that, those specific words. Um, but hopefully she can find someone to talk to if it's not her friends. If she doesn't feel comfortable doing that, there's a new guidance counselor she can talk to or somebody because clearly she's still dealing with a lot now that Angel is back. And I think she had just processed saying goodbye to him and letting go of him and whatever that looks like because even Giles is like no one's ever come back and she does like the hey if my friend like hypothetical situation when she's really talking about herself um and I thought Giles might pick up on that but I guess not um and he's like yeah no one's ever come back before or he's just lying to make her feel better and to just be more like concise and have a closure on this situation i don't know possible to say what they'd be like but he vaguely describes what angel is going through he's like yeah they wouldn't be the human version of themselves basically because they had been in such a horrible place that dealing with that for so long changes you obviously I hope Buffy tells everybody about Angel soon, but who knows? Because yeah, she obviously needs to talk to somebody about it and I think it would help her process everything. I don't know if Angel's even gonna stick around, if he didn't even recognize Buffy when he first saw her. So now that he recognizes her and says her name at the end of the episode, I feel like that's great progress for one episode. So we'll see what happens the next episode. Um, but yeah, I don't blame Buffy for keeping it a secret because it's obviously a shock to the system. Overall, I enjoyed it. It was nice to see more of Willow and Oz's relationship, especially when he's transitioning. 
she doesn't want to hurt him, obviously, but he's also hurting people. And yeah, we saw um, Faith shoot him with that tranquilizer gun to put him back in the cage. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to see that like monster on monster, like when he's fighting um, Pete. And then we saw Angel also fight Pete. Uh, I'm glad Angel showed up at the last minute to save Buffy. So again, I feel like if he's compelled by love to do things, that proves that he's not the worst kind of monster, as Giles was explaining. So I feel like his actions and how much he cares about Buffy show that there's hope for him yet. I was wondering if they would bring Oz's werewolfness back into the show as we found out he was a werewolf last season. So it was interesting to see how they deal with it and to see him transition in this. And then even Pete and Debbie's relationship, it makes me wonder how many other supernatural couples are in Sunnydale, um, considering Debbie was dating Pete, knowing that he had this problem and wasn't telling anybody about it. I'm curious to see what's going to happen in the next episode with Angel that Mr. Trick guy wasn't in this so I'm assuming he's gone now. I'm glad Faith's still around um, but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. Quite a muffin honestly. This is the guidance counselor? Is he smoking weed? I had to boot my boyfriend to hell. Like a body outline? He looks cool rocking out to a discman. That is just four cubes of jello. Yeah, what's this green stuff? He looks kind of more like a monkey than a wolf. Monster versus monster. He's creating these different formulas.